Aries men? You're at a festival and everyone's dressing naked. Do you know how long these messages are? I didn't want to expose it because I don't want you guys to like pause and read it. Like I know you, some of you guys out there are gonna do that. I think I already had a bad stigma about dating apps in general. Other match saw one of my YouTube videos. So embarrassing. This thing was supposed to be for content. I wasn't actually supposed to meet genuine people on here. At first, I was like, hinge as a joke. <laughs> but bro. I don't think it's a joke anymore. Hi, welcome back to my channel. It's Angelica. Today we're gonna be literally juicing up details that I know you guys have been probably thinking but no one asked. What my top three are and what they're like and the status of them today after a few weeks of kind of talking or like whatever. If you guys have not watched my going on hinge for 24 hours video i'm gonna link it right here but it's literally insane because i didn't imagine actually meeting people that i would actually kind of still talk to to this day like i said my dating life is a reality tv show but we're gonna feed ourselves to be healthy and whatnot and have some brain food so let's make something a little small i'll show you guys a little tiny quick rundown of what my hinge profile looks like so you guys kind of have a gist of you know if you didn't watch my last one or whatever and then we're gonna go straight into it and talk about all the teats Okay. Okay, so a quick rundown. The last update, I was literally stuck in New York City on Hinge all month. And uh, let me just say, it was um, a little bit wild, a little bit fun, okay? I did hop around from LA, New York City, Melbourne, Australia, Korea, Vietnam. The list goes on basically. I just wanted to see what type of men there were in the world and you never know. What if you find your soulmate out there? Okay, so as we are waiting for my bread to toast, I am going to be showing you guys my Hinge profile. Disclaimer, I have not really been active on it since kind of finding my matches <laughs> that's a story time for a little bit later if you guys are gonna like watch a little longer you know so anyways my profile just to have a little quick rundown if you guys did not see my other video my cover photo Mondays am I right that's my main cover photo I actually used to have I actually used to have another photo before this, but I changed it and it kind of looks like that. Dating me is like eating a spice jalapeno, but you have IBS. I don't know what's up, but our stomachs are like so twisted and sick. Like, like I honestly think it's like a curse, but I don't have either, so. Four women, straight, five, four, Soho, Southeast Asian, cancer. Yes to drinking, no to smoking, no to drugs and whatnot. Um, I took out the vaccination thing because I was like, okay, it's good that I'm vaccinated, but like no one put that on there. And I still kept cancer on there. I'm in Zodiac sign. I don't know why. I just think it's kind of like problematic sometimes and just steers things up. Based in Seattle, Washington, me during fashion week. Um, honestly, that's one of my favorite photos ever. My good side, always. Don't hate me if I tell you a story via multiple text rather than one fat paragraph. I'm not trying to read a fat ass paragraph because I will literally just leave that undelivered. Selfie hashtag 503, my Princess Polly ad, but I was just cute or whatever. Uh, something that's non-negotiable for me, if you don't like boba or Asian food, because what the fuck am I gonna eat then? I kept this caption on there, cause like, it's really, it's vital. I'm gonna say a fun fact, one or two of my exes in the past didn't really like boba that much, and yeah. You can just imagine, like I used to drink boba five times a week during college. I see my mom's fridge because I look so innocent. Um, my little sister took this of me while my mom was sitting next to her, which is actually kind of funny. Just treating my little sis to take the best photos, you know? So that was literally my profile. Now let me talk about, oh, this is, we got the tea guys. Let's make my freaking toast first. I'm actually hungry. Let's talk about each contestant that I had. I'm just on another level at this point. Like on the last Hinge video that I did, I actually didn't mention or expose any of my top threes because I was just like testing the waters and seeing whether or not this could be something fun. You know what I mean? I wasn't looking for a relationship at all. I think I was kind of like scared of that because I think I already had a bad stigma about dating apps in general. So I was just like, do I want to look for a relationship? Like I literally, no, I made that breakup video, like I said on YouTube, right? And I just like, wasn't really looking for anything. But at the same time, um, even though I say this, like what if Prince Charming comes to the door and saves the day? Am I gonna reject? What if he's the perfect man? That's where I kind of stand in my head right now. Let me talk about each contestant. 
while I'm sitting out eating because this is literally too much tea. Peanut butter and honey go to breakfast um, or a snack. It's just so healthy and uh, honestly, kind of light for me, which I love. I cannot eat a big breakfast in the morning or else I will feel sick. Mmm, delicioso. I just hate when the honey sticks onto my fingers because it's so sticky. I'm gonna rank them later, but let's call this one, let's just name this one B, okay? So B saw my spicy jalapeno caption and told me to elaborate. And I was like, I never met an Asian that isn't lactose or has IBS other than me, haha. Ha ha, no IBS here. And I'm pretty sure I'm not lactose. Guess we're a rare bean. I was like, okay, but do you like EDM though? Be honest, because I feel like you do. Judging from his photos, I don't want to like, you know, I don't want to expose, expose, right? But he just looked so EDM-y. Looks like he goes to the club every weekend. So he, I was like, okay, he's good looking. Asian, Asian food, all that stuff, cool. But I'm like, man, if he's a raver, that is like non-negotiable for me. Like, I, I don't think I can date a raver. Like, I'm being genuinely honest. I don't like EDM music. I don't like the culture behind doing drugs, drinking, spending hundreds of dollars on that and going like every freaking month. Like you're at a festival and everyone's dressing naked. Like Adam and Eve, I, like this is just, I can't. So anyways, honestly, I hate it. I like hip hop. Okay, but do you like me though? Be honest, I feel like you do. And I'm like, okay, that's kind of smooth. Not kind of like that was kind of smooth. So I was like, oh, this guy's kind of fun. You know, it kind of started off kind of light. I was like, ha, oh, we literally just started the comment this morning. You must be joking. I hate EDM. I'm glad that you said that though. Won't catch me at a rave, I'll tell you that. I stand my ground. He goes, I hate raves. Used to go with my friends, but not my vibe. And I'm like, okay, cool, right? So I said, I'd rather not fry my brain and blow out my eardrums, but that's just me. Yeah, I feel that though. It's annoying, LMAO. Very college like so what do you do for fun i swear i'm just like i don't like this question because it's so too broad then it kind of like takes me back and i'm like well what do i like to do for fun other than hang out with friends and eating and maybe filming myself every day and talking to a camera so i was like yeah, well, like almost every day eating like a lot editing videos and traveling almost every month what about you he goes editing videos well i want to see some of your edits yeah, eating is essential. Where do you travel to? And I'm like, then I kind of found myself not responding to him as much. Like, as you can tell with the whole, the dates, you know, it was kind of slow. And I was just like, oh man, I'd rather just talk about something random. Get to know each other through there. than you just asking me and me spilling out everything. Does that make sense? Like all my details and nitpicking what we should talk about. Does that make sense? Ooh. Yeah, every season, you know, vacation with family. But I've been going to hotter areas a lot and my edits aren't like advertisements or anything. It's literally of myself. So for me, I was like, when I said that, I was like, wait, that sounds so conceited. Like it sounds like I'm making fan edits of myself. But no, 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 that's not it, okay? New has been fucking cold. Pretty good weather to do. I don't know why, but I just like, just say New York. Why you say yeah? New has been fucking cold. And then he good weather today. I don't, and then I was like, why does he type like this? So that was, contestant B, okay? I didn't know too much about him when talking about him, so I'm just like, I wouldn't even know if I would have fun on the date or not. Mind you, I go to New York City next week, okay? So I was thinking about this and I'm like, oh no, man. I feel like he's the type of person to maybe take to a bar and club and then like, I'm just like kind of stuck there. Like, I don't really get to know you. We don't do any fun, fun activities where it's like, an activity is stimulating my brain and my eyes and my heart, you know? like. So I'm like, okay, that was my honest opinion about him. And I just feel like he didn't really want to get to know me to the core <laughs> or like, he didn't even make fun of me. He didn't even roast me. And that's something that I was like, don't let this be boring. And remind you, this guy had the same name as another one of my matches who was also on my top three. Okay, let's talk about my other contestant. This one might be more interesting. I'll tell you that. It's such an odd angle from my living room area, but I don't think I've ever filmed this angle once. So we're gonna be here and we're gonna talk about my other contestant. Let's name him H. And um, this guy in particular, he ended up commenting on one of my photos and said Midtown, question mark. And for a second I was like, oh shit, forgot. Like I put myself Midtown where like Manhattan area is and I'm like not from New York City. So that's completely awk, okay, completely awk. For like this month, haha, ha, he liked that. So he goes, that's enough for a love story. And I was like, then I can like mess around with him and kind of play around. Cause like, it's just fun to me. You know what I mean? I didn't take anything serious. So I was like, I mean, if you know how to write one, then I'm down. Where are you based? He goes, of course, I'm based in Brooklyn. I was like, oh, fun. Be honest, are you actually 6'1"? Because in his photos, some guys, like, they look a little bit shorter than uh, the height itself. And then he goes, yes, bring a rule on our date. And I was like, okay, that was kind of smooth. <laughs> that was... So I was like, imagine if I actually did. People in public would think I'm like, like, you know, you're psychotic. So I said, what ethnicity are you? He goes, you're not gonna say some of our questions for a date. What's your IG? I'm rarely on here. So I'm like, okay, one. Good that he's rarely on Hinge. 
But second, that was kind of smooth to leading into socials or whatever. So I was like, add me on IG or whatever. And he goes, done, you're a TikToker. I was like, don't judge me. Did you already stalk me already? Like, let me know. He goes, no, I'd rather be surprised on the first date. So text me on IG, bruh. And not gonna lie, his photos are actually pretty good. Um, I really hope that he doesn't see this video because my other match saw one of my YouTube videos. So embarrassing. Literally so embarrassing. Well, okay, first of all, it ain't even his turn yet. So I don't know why I'm talking about him already. But the second guy, obviously, oh yeah, we were talking on Instagram and everything was kind of nice and stuff like that. Um, he was kind of pulling some moves a little bit. Personally for me, I like fast communication and fast responses and more to talk about other than just like a sentence or two, like flirting here and there. I'm more than just that, okay? <sighs> Yeah, he kind of looked a tiny bit similar to the other ones because the hair, the height, tan skin, Asian, like, tattoos. Ugh. They had like a build, you know what I mean? So I'm just like, bro, like I really do have a type. I would personally rate him eight out of 10 just because he was fun. He did have some spice. He's actually a chill person, so. I'll give him that eight out of 10. Oh, I forgot the other guy. So the other B guy, contestant B, I would probably rate him six out of 10. I'm gonna be in New York with my cousins and then my friend and then meeting up with like specific hinge date. You know what I mean? I don't want to go on a bunch of all of them because I realize I don't have time to go on dates back to back like that. Like generally, and it's like, what if I went on date number one? I really like date number one, but then I have to go on date number two, number three. And I'm just like, this is just overwhelming. <laughs> it's just overwhelming. It's just overwhelming. Very. Ooh. Okay. Okay, so we were finally settled down um, with my little puppers here, and there's a pillow in the way. Last but not least, I got the other contestant. I'm just gonna name him um, Contestant F. Literally for two, three days, we would send each other voice memos straight. Like, I'm not even kidding. And that was like, I think I mentioned that on my last Hinge video where it was like really fun. It was kind of new for me, right? The voice memos, we were kind of like talking to each other. It was more of like a feisty roast challenge. It was very flirtatious. I, I really don't want to read through most of it because some of it was personal. Like we talked about our backgrounds, our family, our culture in our childhood and I feel like I just like, that would just be disrespectful if I kind of just like outed that in a way. There was one instance where I was basically saying like, you're literally in one hell of a ride then. Like anyone who basically deals with me, I'm just a big ball of like fire, like energy, like kind of like a starburst. You know what I mean? Like the good kind. He was like, should I be scared? Basically start prepping yourself now at this point. Cause like, I feel like I'm just not really easy to hit. Did he just really go downstairs? He really did not want to hear about these dating stories. <laughs> Point. He was like, I'm a big procrastinator, like I work under pressure, went up, blah, blah, blah. And I was like, so you're basically gonna wait until I slip away to try harder? It's kind of playing hard to get, you know? And he was like, who says you're gonna slip away? Like, I'm not rushing anything. And I was like, so stuff like that, you know? I was just like, oh my gosh, like, there was more, but I cannot, I can't. Okay, because do you know how long these messages are? I didn't even want to expose it because I don't want you guys to like pause and read it. Like I know you, some of you guys out there are gonna do that. Let's just say that I found him first and I like his photo and then he matched with me. But it just keeps going on and on and on. Um, yeah, so that was the guy that I was talking about in my last one where I was like, oh, dream bod, a dream personality, like literally has the values, the culture, the background, the humor, blah, blah, blah. I was like, and you know what's so embarrassing? He literally watched that video. Done. But I wanna be honest, like I said, because you know, it's all about honesty, okay? I will definitely rate him a nine out of 10, just because I haven't met him yet, so we don't know how it's gonna be like. You know what I mean? I think he's really fun, very social, very outgoing, knows how to bounce off my energy and knows how to be feisty at the same time because I thought I was feisty, but this guy is like feistier than me. So I think it's all honestly because he's an Aries man. Also, he has a very athletic build, works out kind of like me in a way, um, cares about looks, skincare, hair. <sighs> okay, now let's rate them. Like I said, I had top three. I'm gonna rank them in order because I'm pretty open about this. My conclusion. Okay, on rating these guys. Um, first, we were talking about the first one, which is B. 
I don't think that I will be going on a date with him just because didn't even get to know him at all. Like I don't I don't know anything about him other than the fact that he doesn't like EDM like me. I feel like there was just not really any effort and nothing that sparked a connection. Like I said, six out of 10, wouldn't even know what I would do with him anyways, I'm gonna be honest with you. He was ranked number three on the bottom. Eight out of 10 for contestant age, like I said. He had the height, he had the hair, he had the build. Yeah, he knew how to socialize. He was fun, I'll give you that. There's just so many things to do in New York that I'm just like, Am I gonna have time to meet up with all these guys anyways? Probably not. So I like technically I would have to pick one, see which one I like the best, right? I'm just, I don't think I would just go on a date with just anyone. So that was kind of hard for me to choose a little bit in the beginning. Obviously I had a favorite, which I mentioned earlier um, today. Contestant F for favorite. Uh, kind of already described it. Like I said, he was definitely a nine out of 10 only because we have not met yet. And he planned out our entire date already like literally a two-day date this is gonna be my first hinge date ever i'm kind of like scared just because i'm like i don't really know what to expect i haven't been on an actual proper date in such a long time i just don't understand how i got along with this guy like instant spark connection and everything just meshed well how i don't know two weeks ago i literally put in my YouTube video description. SZA, where was the big boy that you were talking about? And she literally brought it. Santa Claus was late to give my present, but he delivered. So we'll see what happens. Basically, if I didn't put myself in New York City, would have never met this man. Now this is making my life harder. Gosh. I honestly think it's entertaining. It's a new era in my life right now where I'm trying to feel things out. Go with the flow, not really put any pressure onto it. I'm good even being independently by myself just cause like no one needs a man. Don't simp over no man. You don't need a man to get you everything. Coming from a girl that literally was in a relationship since I was 16, no one needs a man in their life. You just need yourself. I feel like a public speaker right now. I just wanna thank you guys so much for watching. Please don't forget to like, subscribe, comment down below. Don't forget to turn that post notification. That way you know what's supposed to entire week. We'll definitely see you guys in the next YouTube video. Bye. But that she really wanna but can't stand to see me walk out the door.